So hey you guys, I am back with a review of that book that I read in a day and a half. Could not put it down. <laughs> so I don't know if you saw my video before, I kind of just read the little beginning excerpt of kind of like the introduction of how the book was going to get started. And from there y'all, it was page after I just could not put it down. It was so interesting. So anyway, I am Rhonda. Welcome to my channel. If you are new here, if you are a return subscriber, thank you so much for popping in to see what I have to say because y'all, I am not a book reviewer. Let me just tell you that. I have just now re-stumbled on reading as an adult. <laughs> so when I say I have found something that has kept my interest, I kid you not, I kind of feel like I have a short attention span when it comes to reading because I usually will fall asleep, which was one of the whole reasons that I had turned to audible reading or audible books is because I would just, I couldn't focus. I couldn't keep my attention span. I would read something and think, what did I just read and have to reread it? So these little books that I'm sharing with you, they are good, meaning I was... The only reason I'm putting them down now is because I cannot keep my eyes open because I've been reading for hours. <laughs> so anyway, just a brief little overview on this book. I may be late to the party. Like I said, new adult reader here. But this is talking about now, you guys, and why we are in the position that we are in in our world, not just our country, but in our world. And if you don't believe that there is a spiritual world, I'm going to have to pray really hard for you because you are in complete denial of the reality of in which we live. And this book talks about the gods of the ancient times of the ancient world of, um, you know, that the the pagans would worship the little idols and you know their their golden calves and building their big shrines and things like that but what what is so interesting is while we may have a little idol that we just look up to and we worship and pray to and whatever what they were thinking was bringing along prosperity and wellness and health what they didn't understand i guess was the entities and the demons that they were calling to play. There is only one God. Everything else is evil. <laughs> so if you are not worshiping the one true God, anything that you think that you are being blessed from is not of God. It is from an entity or a demon, evilness. And so what this talks about are the three main gods of the day which was Baal, Ishtar, and Moloch. Those were like the three main gods that the ancient world would worship. And when they would fall away from God and then God would bring them back, they would fall away from God and God would bring them back. Finally, God let them have what they wanted. He hardened their hearts to him and allowed them to reap what they sow. And if you read your Bible, you know what happens. And here's the, not the funny part, Here's the interesting part. When, you, when I read my Bible, I don't know if this happens to you, but when I read my Bible, I am on a timeline of the Bible. That's what I'm reading. I'm not really in my mind thinking that there are other cultures and civilizations doing their own thing. I'm not thinking of um, just... I'm just like in the Bible, what I'm reading is what I'm reading and that's what's happening. But it's not just one little linear timeline. What has happened in the Bible are the, the characters and the storylines and the events that the Holy Spirit wanted to be told. What God wanted to be put into the Bible, into his word through the Holy Spirit, through his prophets and through the writers of the Bible. At the same time, history... Things were still going on in the world that are history, that were really happening. So these worshiping of these gods and the things that were going on were events, were true events that were happening. They just weren't 
put into the Bible. Doesn't mean that they're not true. Now, a lot of the things are, um, you know, like they would call like mythological and things like that, which were God's um, kind of strewn off of this God. But the demon entities that these people worship, the pagans worship, were true evil existing they were demons they were true evil spirits and so that's what i found so interesting in this is while i'm reading you know the timeline of the bible history is still taking place outside of this and i'm starting to catch on as i read books like this um and and watch some of the documentaries and stuff and how they filter in other true things that happen you know, a lot about the Egypt pyramids and things like that. You don't really read about that in the Bible. You read about Egypt and you read about Pharaoh and things like that. But when you get into the hieroglyphics and the writings on the walls and the representations of what those were, along with reading your Bible, it is such a historical, wow, it just really is. I don't know why I wasn't this excited when I was in school. Who knows what I would have become. But anyway, I just wanted to kind of just jump on again. If you have not read this, I highly recommend it. Um, just could not put it down. I just now finished it. So I read it up until like 10 o'clock last night, which is y'all way past my 8.30 bedtime. So I just kept on reading until my eyes just could not stay open anymore. Then I did my thing today, and as soon as I got home, I had like eight chapters left. There's 52 chapters, and I had like eight chapters left. So that just goes to show you how much I read the night before. And um, so, yeah, I just could, it was just so interesting learning about. And when I say it's, it's talking about today's age, it helps to understand and explain where, how, the door of the past has been crept back open and how these spirits are having to learn to not learn. They already know, but how they had to deal with back in the ancient days compared to how they have to deal with now. They have so much more access to us and they are very patient and they're not in a hurry. And where they have opened the doors back in the 60s, things that they have been planting, the seeds that they have been planting are so in full bloom right now. And so when you read this, you will sit there with your jaw in your lap going, oh my Lord, that makes so much sense. And so it really does help when you get back in your Bible because just when I was doing my reading this morning and I'm in Second Chronicles and and they would drop the name Baal or they would drop another um, something that was happening. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I just read that. It is just amazing, you guys. So anyway, can you tell I'm excited to share that? <laughs> so don't know if you're a reader. If you're not, I do encourage you to maybe explore some of these books. But anyway, The Return of the Gods, very, very worth reading. Very um, eye-opening just about the spirits that are set loose in our world now. And y'all, it's also scripture-led. So I'm not just saying this is some, you know, little fiction book. It's a, it is a true book. It's, it is historical and prophesied by the Bible. And it is coming true as we speak and so yeah let me know if you have read it what you thought and if if you're kind of understanding what i'm saying and and where i'm coming from because a girl's got to know all right guys i'll talk to you soon